Everyone, if you're seeing this message before the video starts, that means that... Excuse me for a second. Finally. So, yeah, everyone, I'm going through a maintenance cycle here. That means that right now I'm one eye short, if you know what I mean. It's a lot more complicated to tune up and update an optic than it is an arm or a limb. So, for the foreseeable week or so, I will be recording with these visors on. So, everyone, thank you for understanding and enjoy the reaction. Hey guys, McSun here with more Star Wars The Forces of Destiny here. This one is called The Starfighter Stunt and it's another one set during the Clone Wars with everyone's favorite Togruta Ahsoka Tano. And... Well, okay, the last, epi last episode we learned that <clears throat> in lightsaber duels, be yourself. Let's see if, she's, if she can carry that over to Starfighter and not be like her master. Oh boy, yeah. I don't think I ever had this close to me. I forgot. Sorry, people. So the audio might be a little weird in the last two videos. Naboos? Thanks again for teaching me some combat maneuvers, Ahsoka. It's Princess Leia! Oh, let me, let me, let me get a better image. You know, I gotta admit, the Naboo fighters, it's one of my favorite fighters in Star Wars. One of the few that had some practicality in mind. The only real issue I have are the way the engines are. I mean, seriously, if I didn't know any better, I'd say they were flying backwards. Still, though, for a parade... For a parade and fancy bodyguard fighter, it's... They put some thought into the design here. A vulture? It intercepted the transmission? Wait a minute, does it have like a... A ro... A redome? Oh my god, it does! Oh, that, that's so, like, something right out of Gundam or Macross to me. Uh, Proton Torpedo? It just did a... Whoa! No, Ion Weapons. Those fry all the take all the electronics on the Star Wars ship. Seriously, you had your target right there. Oh, it's a good thing that fighter has shields. There we go, good job. So this was so this was actually more of a, a Padme story. Okay, that's cool. Ahsoka. She's fine. She probably has a, a pretty decent connection to the Force. Not enough to be considered Jedi material, but enough to give her a small edge over, the, over everyone else. Alright, uh, I think that was it. So, 
I'm glad I was surprised by this. I mean, I thought it'd be Ahsoka again, but no, no, it was Padme. And yeah, she's she hasn't gotten that much screen time here. So it was good to see her again. And it's actually good to see more of her and Ahsoka together. I mean, the last time we saw her was when that, um, I forgot the species name. I never memorized, never memorized the name, but it was a changeling species who tried to essentially ruin a uh, dinner, a dinner with some embit with some uh, ambassadors from another planet. <laughs> so okay, that that was nice. And here we get to see her. It's like a teacher some moves, and I'm sure Anakin pre loaned her. Or actually, you never actually I. R2-D2 is technically, it's, it's, it's in R2-D, it's in, by this point, R2-D2 still technically owned by the Naboo royalty. And not Anakin's guy, not Anakin, I, I hmm. Well, either way, um, it was good to see R2 as well. And just him fixing up all this stuff, it's like, you, I kind of wonder, don't, don't you have any built-in repair systems? On your ship, do you have to always rely on an astromech? Ah, eh, Star Wars technology. Retro futurism. Anyhow, everyone, thank you for watching this. Comment down below what you all thought. It was actually cool to see that different variant of the Vulture Droid Fighter. I'd like to subscribe for more videos. And until the next one, this is Maxan. Long out.